Hi everybody, this is Miss Erin. I'm a Kid Smart teaching artist and my art form is visual arts. And today we're gonna to be learning about pottery. Um, what you will need for this project is you'll need a sheet of paper, some kind of blue drawing utensil. Um, it can be a pen, a pencil, crayon, marker, whatever you have. And you will need to think in your head first about what kind of shape your vase is going to be. Does it have a long skinny neck and a big fat bottom? Is it long and slender? Does it have a wide open top or is it a really tiny top? Whatever you like, think, think, think about what your vase's shape is going to look like. My vase I've drawn is round at the bottom and it has a long skinny top and a very small opening at the top. And I've drawn a line in the background to show that it's sitting on a table, not floating in space. The reason that we're using the color blue is because at one point, especially in China, China popularized this, they used only white, white porcelain clay with a blue glaze and they used to do very beautiful intricate designs all over these vases and today you get to come up with your own design for your own vase so first you draw your shape and give it a little um table to sit on and then you want to make sure that you do a nice dark outline in blue and then after that you can start thinking of all the different designs and motifs. Is there going to be a central like animal or figure? You can totally do that. Maybe on this one I will do, I'm going to do a little cat on my Ming vase. Okay, I'm going to do a little cat. And he's going to look a little bit like a cartoon one. So I've drawn a central little kitty cat figure on my little vase. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some flowers. They used a lot of flowers in these vases. So I'm going to just do a couple of flowers. Okay, and then I might do some like little fun designs on the top, on the neck of the vase to just give it some interest. Okay, and I've started to do my little kitty cat vase and I'm adding different patterns and things in there. Maybe my flowers need some leaves on their stems and you can just keep adding different things until you feel like it looks where you want it to be. I'm gonna put some clouds on my vase. So this looks like a little vase with a kitty cat in the garden, okay? So this is what my vase looks like so far. I'm gonna show you some other examples of different types of motifs that you might be able to do. So this one I just use flowers and butterflies and little lines at the bottom. And this is another shape of a vase, right? Very different from this shape, okay? On this one, I drew a dragon in the middle and I drew some clouds and some other motifs. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys make some really cool Ming Dynasty vases in blue. All right, bye y'all.